All right, we are here at Daytona Flat Track, round two of the 2015 AMA Pro Flat Track season. We have our top three finishers from our premier Harley Davidson GNC One class presented by Vance and Hines. Tonight, the main was sponsored by Bruce Ross Myers, Daytona Harley Davidson. Let's start with our third place finisher tonight on the number seven, Fredericktown Vans Yamaha slamming Sammy Halbert. Sammy, tell us how different tonight was from, from last night and how good it feels to be on the podium. Yeah, tonight was a lot more wet slick, which uh, I like a little better than the uh, than the dry dry blue groove action. But um, yeah, the main difference was I got a start in my heat race and was able to get the win in the heat race and uh, and uh, have a front row start in the main. Um, I still kind of squandered it in the main. The first few laps, I just went backwards and it took me a while to get in my groove. Uh, um, but I uh, was able to finally kind of get in my groove and uh, find a line that worked for me and uh, start picking off guys. And I uh, was slowly catching Henry and just reeling him in slowly, trying to stay super patient, super use a ton of throttle control. And then uh, I'd get kind of close to him and get a little excited and slip up a little high and, and lose it all. I, uh, I thought I threw it away. I thought I wasn't going to be up here because I made a mistake and lost a lot of ground. But uh, Luckily, he kind of made a mistake, too, and, uh, and, and let, allowed me to reel him back in and uh, was able to get a run on him when he did that and uh, make, the, make the pass going into turn three. And I uh, had things working pretty well for me there once I, once I settled in and was uh, kind of inched up on Brandon a little bit. But um, just, uh, you know, was, catching him was one thing, but passing him would have been a, a whole lot harder. Thank you. Go to our second-place finisher tonight on the number 44, TJ Burnett Farms, Honda. Brandon Robinson. Brandon, you had a lot of success here. It looked like you were the guy to beat all day long until that main. What happened? How was Kenny able to pull away from you like that? Yeah, thanks. Um, he got out, got out a decent start, got out front there and led a lap or two. And then, um, man, Kenny just rolled right underneath me, went by me like I was sitting still. And and at lap after lap, he just kept pulling away. And I was trying to do everything I could to, to match and maintain pace. And he just kept pulling away and there was nothing I can really do about that so halfway through I just kind of settled in and decided to ride her out in second and you know just be smart and smooth about it and try to keep back up here on the podium and that was that was really important for me and you know it's been a little while since I've been up here so it really feels good. Thank you and let's go to tonight's winner on the number two Zanotti Racing Honda Kenny Coolbooth. Kenny second podium in a row this time you're on that spot that you want to be on you were you checked out half a half a track length in front of second place how were you able to do that how were you able to pull away tonight yeah thanks uh yeah the the, the track just suited my style uh way better tonight and uh like sammy said it was uh it was kind of greasy slick which uh i kind of like little throttle control and uh instead of just whacking it but uh you know it's uh it's it's good you know this is a good start of the year and um you know i just want to keep pushing forward stay healthy all year and uh you know um we got a great team behind me all i need to do is do my job and uh, yeah, the race was good. It, it uh, you know got a fair start. I think it was like fourth or fifth, and uh, kind of got bottlenecked coming out of two in the first uh, first lap. And you know, I uh, got through that and uh, kind of just started uh, trying to set a pace a little bit, trying to calm myself down a little bit, and uh, you know, kind of started picking everybody off. And uh, you know, was got behind Brandon, and uh, you know, in the dash, I, I uh, had a hard time getting by him. So uh, I didn't think it would be that easy to to go underneath them and uh, you know they they watered the track before we went out so uh that might have uh, hurt them a little bit and but uh it, it was good you know there's naughty racing uh honda the chaplain honda was running good and uh you know i have a lot of people that behind me that uh makes it happen and uh, i thank them all and uh, just uh, look forward to the season and last question for you before we turn it over to some reporters here you've won plenty of these races before you checked out and you, you knew you had that the last few laps, but you were still showing tons of excitement, doing donuts, standing up as you took the checkered flag. Where does that excitement come from? Uh, it never gets old. You know, I'm, uh, I'm here to win. I put a lot of hard work into doing it. And, uh, you know, and when it does happen, you have to take advantage of, uh, you know, uh, having a little fun. All right. Robin, questions? That was basically my question. I've never seen you so excited, Kenny, to uh, at how big is winning at Daytona? Uh, it's it's great, you know. I won here last year, and uh, you know, like I said, it never gets old winning. And uh, it's uh, Daytona's uh, prestigious. It's uh, there's a lot of people here watching, and uh, it's uh, it's it's one on my list that's uh, high up on all my wins. So uh, it's good. Thank you guys so much.